Good morning children, how are you this morning? Now before we start today's activities, we are going to say a little prayer. Okay, now you all remember that prayer we used to say in school. That is the same prayer we are going to say this morning. Now you are going to repeat after me. So you clasp your hands and close your eyes. Let's go. Be your Lord, we pray. Teach us to love each other every day. Amen. Yes. Wonderful. Now we are going to say the National Pledge. Let's say the pledge. Remember your feet together, toes out, your right hand across your chest. Now you are going to say the pledge with me. Let's go. I pledge myself to honor always the flag of Guyana and to be loyal to my country to be obedient to the laws of Guyana, to love my fellow citizens, and to dedicate my energy towards the happiness and the prosperity of Guyana. So yes, boys and girls, so now we are going to say the days of the week, okay? And I know all of you by now should be able to say the, day, the days of the week. Let's say, come on. The days of the week are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And today is Wednesday. Yes, today is Wednesday. And Wednesday is the third day of the school week. Let's spell Wednesday. Capital W E D N E S D A Y. Wednesday. Okay, boys and girls, yes, so today is Wednesday, and we are in the month of, what month are we in? We are in the month of February, we are in the month of February, let's see the months of the year, the months of the year are January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. There are 12 months in one year. Let's spell February. Capital F-E-B-R-U-A-R-Y. February. Capital F-E-B-R-U-A-R-Y. February. You spell that? Yes. Wonderful. Okay, boys and girls. Now, let's do, now we are going to do some discussion about our value, the vowel and the letter. Okay, boys and girls? Yes, now this week we are talking about what letter? We are talking about letter W. Letter W. And the value for this week is patriotism what is our value patriotism okay boys and girls and when we talk about patriotism we are talking about showing loyalty to your country okay yes so our value is patriotism let's say the vowels in the alphabet how many vowels are there in the alphabet there are five vowels in the alphabet. Yes, let's say the vowel. A E I O U. Your turn. Wonderful. Now today's letter is letter W. Letter W. And W is for web. W is for web. Okay, boys and girls. W is for worm say worm yes worm okay let me see those of you like worm uh, I do not like worms do you like worms uh, okay now most of you might not like worms but worm begin with letter W and what does the W says it says whoa it says whoa okay boys and girls now you are going to complete the activity on your worksheet today's activity on your literacy worksheet on letter w okay children remember to do your work neatly okay 
and remind mommy or daddy to work with you. Okay, when you have work to do, remind them to help you out. Okay? Yes. So now, we are going to listen to the W song. Let's sit back and enjoy that song. for this term. Our theme for this term is plants and animals in the environment. What is a plant? A plant is a living thing. Why do we say plants are living things? Because they, mm -hmm, they grow, they reproduce, they give off waste, they make their own food. Okay boys and girls? Now this week our topic is Marshall Money and Nationhood. Marshall Money and Nationhood. And this week we'll be focusing on our national symbols also. Okay boys and girls. Now do you remember the meaning of that word Marshall Money? Yes. Marshall Money means, come on, Marshall Money means celebration after hard work yes and mashumani is an amerindian word okay boys and girls now today for social studies now because yesterday was a holiday we would have done social studies yesterday because but because it was a holiday we wasn't able to social studies yesterday we are doing social studies today okay boys and girls yes so for social studies we'll be focusing on the national symbols okay now let's name the national symbols of our country Guyana this is the the kanji fashion this one is the golden harrow head the Victoria Regia Lily this is called the coat of harms these are, yes, our currency. If you look here, you can see $5,000, $1,000, $500, $100, $50, $20, $10, and $5. Okay, boys and girls, and if you look here, you can see the map of Guyana. Now, these are our national symbols, okay? Yes. Now today we will be focusing on a special national symbol, and we all know the name of that national symbol. Yes, we'll be focusing on the golden harrow head, the golden harrow head, and we all know that the golden harrow head has 
five beautiful colors. Let's say the colors red, black, gold, white, and green. Yes, boys and girls. Red, black, gold, white, and green. And remember, for the early term, we learned that the green represents our agriculture. Yes. Now, all the color represents something. Okay, boys and girls? And we're going to learn about what all the other colors represent. Okay, but before we do that, we are going to paint the golden arrowhead. We are going to paint. Yes. So the first color, if you look here, the first color is red. So we have to get our red paint and we are going to paint it. Okay. Yes, red. Is this red? Yes, this is red. So let's paint the golden arrow here. Yes, I am painting the golden arrow head. And the golden arrow head is our national, is one of our national symbol. Okay? It's our flag. Yes, our beautiful flag. And it has five colors. It has five colors let's sing the song red black gold and white red black gold and white red black gold and white and the rest of it is green yes boys and girls so we finish painting the red what is the other color we have to paint is it green you sure it's not green let's look on the wall and see what color we have to paint next so we finish painting red, yes. The other color is what? Black, right? So let's get the black paint. And we're going to paint it in black. So red, black. This part is black. Yes. Now remember, we have to show respect for our flag. Yes, the golden arrow head. Yes, at matrimony time, this is the flag that we raise. And I know most of you looked at the flag raising ceremony. Yes, the ceremony was on Monday. Okay, boys and girls. And then they had the celebration yesterday. Okay. Let me see those of you look at the flag raising ceremony. Okay, yes. Uh -huh. And what is the name of the flag that they raise? They raise the golden arrow head. And the golden arrow head has five colors. Okay? So we have red, black, gold. Uh -huh. What color is gold? Yes, yellow. Okay, that color yellow there. That color is yellow. Let's call it here yellow. And remember, if you do not have, if you have paint, you can paint the golden arrowhead, okay? Yes, and if you do not have paint, what do you do? You use your crayons, yes, and you paint. Wonderful. Okay, boys and girls? Yes. Let's Red, black, gold, yes, gold, uh -huh. white, after gold is white, right? Yes, gold, white. Uh -huh. So we have gold here. Open this here. Wonderful, yes. Uh huh. And remember, I want to see your drawing, your coloring. Your mommy or daddy could draw the flag in your book and you can color or paint it. Okay, boys and girls? So we have red, black, gold. Here is white. And what is the other color? Green. What is the other color? Green. Yes, boys and girls. So the other color is green. And what does the green represent? Do you remember? Yes, the green represents our agriculture and forestry. So let's paint green now. Quick 
screen. Yes, 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 yes. So yes, boys and girls. So this part is green. Yes. So let's say the color is now. Let's go. Red, black, gold, white. You can you see the white? Yes, and green. So those are the five beautiful colors of the golden hair head. Red, black, gold, white, and green. Let's sing a song one more time. Red, black, gold, and white. Red, black, gold, and white. Red, black, gold, and white. And the rest of it is green. Yes, so now we are going to talk about what each color represents. Okay, boys and girls? Now remember, when do we celebrate Mashramani? We celebrate Mashramani on the 23rd of February every year. Okay, boys and girls, every year on the 23rd of February, we celebrate Mashramani, like yesterday. Yesterday was the 23rd of February. And what did we celebrate? Mashramani. Okay, boys and girls? Now, yesterday, we celebrate its 51st anniversary. Okay, boys and girls? Yes. So now we are going to talk about the meaning of each color. Okay? Now you have to listen, you have to listen. Now the red represents what? It represents the nation building or zeal. Let's say it together. The red represents the nation building or zeal. Or if you can't remember all of that, you just say the red represents zeal. Okay, boys and girls, let's talk about the black. The black represents endurance and strength. What does it represent? endurance and strength now after the black is what color the gold do you know what the gold represent the gold represents our mineral it represents our mineral okay boys and girls and then we have the white the white represents our water it represents water okay boys and girls and we all know guyana is a country of many waters a land of many waters okay yes and let's talk about the green we all know what the green represents what does the green represent yes the green represent our agriculture and forestry okay boys and girls so for an large group you are going to draw the golden arrowhead and you're going to write the meaning of each color. Now, you will see the meaning of each color on the screen. You are going to copy that. Okay, boys and girls? Yes, so that is it for large group today. So, we learn more about the meaning of the colors on the golden haru head. Okay? And when do we celebrate Mashramani? We celebrate Mashramani on the 23rd of February. Okay, boys and girls, yes, every year, that is when we celebrate Mashramani, okay? And yesterday, we had our Mashramani celebration, okay? Yes, so that is it for social studies. Now, for science, yes, we're going to do science now. Yes, boys and girls, so now for a large group also, we're going to do science. Remember, we did social studies because we did not get to do social studies on Tuesday because of the holiday. So now we're going to do science, okay, boys and girls? And now for science, we will be focusing on Mashramani also. Remember, Mashramani is our topic for this week, okay? Mashramani and national symbols is our topic for this week. Okay, and today we will be talking about the weather condition, the appropriate weather condition that is necessary for Mashramani Parade. And when we talk about parade, we're talking about going outdoor and dancing, singing, and what else? Yes, waving your flags and all of those things outdoor on the road. Okay, boys and girls? Yes. So, let me ask you some questions. What weather do you think is best for us to celebrate Mashramani? Do you think we should celebrate Mashramani when the rain is falling? Or do you think we should go outside and parade when the rain is falling? Why? Right. We shouldn't go outside when the rain is falling and parade for Mashramani. 
because remember you have on your beautiful costume and you do not want your costume to get wet okay because some costume is made up of paper and remember if paper get wet what might happen yes it is going to spoil the look of the costume another thing it could affect your health okay you can catch the yes we all know that we can catch the cold if you go outside and dancing and enjoying yourself in the rain next day you might not feel well you might end up where in the hospital mm -hmm. and do you want to go in the hospital no you don't want to end up in the hospital so the, the appropriate weather to celebrate mushroom money is yes on a sunny day on a sunny day that is the best weather to celebrate mushroom money okay boys and girls so let's say this we need so we need sunny weather condition for mushroom money parade let's say that we need sunny weather condition for mushroom money parade when the sun is shining you have on your beautiful costume and you have your floats yes because some floats are made out of paper also and some materials cannot take water if water get it it might spoil yes so you want to protect your costume you want to protect your health you want to protect your float and everything okay by the guess yes so what are what you're going to do for science you are going to draw yourself parading on the road remember on monday what did you draw on monday yes you draw what you saw in the video okay today you are going to draw yourself parading on the road on a on a rainy day no on a sunny day yes on a sunny day so you draw yourself neat and nice if you are a boy you draw a boy if you are a girl you draw a girl okay boys and girls so you draw yourself you draw it or you know to draw it and remember to draw your little sun in the corner dear the sun must be shining okay boys and girls yes we don't want to parade on a, on a rainy day no it won't be fun the road is wet and all of that no 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 we don't want that we want a sunny day we will be parading on a sunny day so you draw yourself yes you can draw yourself and in front of you can draw your beautiful float uh-huh if your float has the guyana map and you can draw the guyana map on your float yes like the one we saw in the video on monday you draw the guyana map uh-huh Yes, you draw the guy in a map there on your beautiful float. Okay, boys and girls. And then you can write something pertaining to mushroom money or pertaining to our country. Okay, so you draw yourself into nice. Uh huh. Don't draw it like teacher. You draw it better than teacher is drawing. Okay. <laughs> yes. And then you copy the sentence. Outdoor, outdoor, on a sunny, sorry, on a sunny day. Okay, boys and girls. Yes, I celebrate Mashamani outdoor on a sunny day. Okay. So on a sunny day, where you go, you go outside and you celebrate mushroom. And if the rain is falling, you do not go in outside. Okay, boys and girls? So that is what you're going to do for me for science. Draw yourself. You draw your float. Okay? And then you draw the sun. Just remember, the sun is shining. Okay, boys and girls? Yes. So that is it for 
science today and remember remind mommy to send your your work in the group okay remind her tell her teacher would love to see your work okay boys and girls and parents i'm encouraging you to please work along with us okay please send your child's work in the group okay parents thank you so yes boys and girls we are going to do what yes mathematics it's time for mathematics okay and we are talking about a special numeral and that numeral is what numeral numeral 15 numeral 15 okay now today we for math we're going to do a little addition okay we'll be adding objects okay that when we add them all together we get 15 okay 15 will be our answer so i have some sticks here I have some sticks here and we are going to add these sticks, okay? And remember, we have to count, okay? So we will be adding three sets of sticks today. So let's go. So we have one set. This is the first set. One, two, three, four, and five. So we have five sticks here. Okay, boys and girls? Yes, and on this side we'll put one, two, are you counting? Let's count. Three, four, five. Okay, so we have one set here and another set. So that's two sets. Now we need another set of sticks. Another set. Let's go. Let's go. One, two, three four and five yes so we will be adding and when we are adding what sign do we use yes we use the plus sign so we are adding these sticks we write a plus sign here okay plus sign and then when we add we get our answer you put your equal sign here okay boys and girls so it was sign. And the equal sign. So in order to add, we have to what? Come. So we have five. How many sticks we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's take out one. Yes. So that's it now. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So we have five sticks here. We have another five sticks here. Another five sticks. Okay, boys and girls. Now to add, what we have to do? Yes, we have to come all of the sticks together. So let's come carefully. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. What is our answer? 15, yes. So when we add three sets of five, we get 15. Okay, boys and girls? Yes, so let's write 15. How do we write 15? A one and a two? Hmm. Oh, it's a one and a three. A one and a three? No, it's a one and a five a one and a five let's write 15 one and five 15 so three sets of five when we add the three sets of five we get 15 okay boys and girls so remember to do your mathematics work in your numeracy worksheet on your numeracy worksheet neat and nice those of you who would like to do this in your workbook Yes, you can do this in your workbook also. Okay, boys and girls, enjoy your day. Remember, parents, please remember, I would love to see my children's work. I'm kindly asking you to work along with me. Okay, parents, thank you for your cooperation and keep up the good work. Goodbye.